Oh my god, it's Crusty Cola! Oh my god, it's Crusty Cola! Oh my god! Crusty! Good news, I've got her. Can you keep her there? Oh my God, I love all of your books, especially A Hunger Like No Other. Amazing, amazing. What, what are you doing? Oh, this? Well, some authors like to leave early, so I'm just gonna no, help no, you no, out. No, just let I'm me just, go, just let, let, it's for let you. me go. It's all for no, you. No. You'll enjoy it, you'll thank me. Here we go. I love you. This is tight. Why is she tied up to a chair? The escape factor. Ooh, good thinking. That one's a little messed up. Uh, Gina, how is she going to talk? Well, just watch. Presley, why don't you answer the burning question on every reader's mind? What is your favorite Gina Showalter novel? <laughs> she said, The Darkest Night. You know, I think this is going to work. I fixed it. I made it better. That's perfect. Oh, wait a minute. I've got to go get ready for my dance. Okay. Okay. We'll see you later, Gina. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Okay, listen, Cressley. Now that she's gone, if you promise not to escape, I, I, can I take the tape off? Can I trust you? Okay, ready? Ready? Hi, and welcome to Author Talk, where authors talk to other authors. I'm Jill Monroe, and I'm here today with New York Times best-selling author, Cressley Cole. Would you mind having someone untie me? I'm really, really excited about the interview, and uh, I won't try to get away. I promise. You know, I know that you're excited about the interview now, but let's just wait and see how you feel at the end, and we'll keep the ties on, okay? All right, well, let's go ahead and begin the interview. You started out writing historical romances. What prompted the switch? I'd really love to talk about my new paranormals. <laughs> okay. Your next release is Dark Needs at Night's Edge, followed by Dark Desire After Dusk. I have to tell you, all this alliteration is really messing with my vocalization. In Dark Desires After Dusk, your hero is a rage demon, while your heroine is a codebreaker and math geek. I knew right away that these two belong together because I often feel that math and rage are just intertwined. Do you? I think math is a really important skill, especially for our young women. Yes, absolutely. A very important skill for our young women. And everyone needs to have something that they like. Let me kind of help you get your hair out of your face. Yeah, so pretty. Okay, Cressley, let's go back to your rage. What really makes you mad? I'm, I'm really laid back and easygoing. Yes, I can see that. But I have to tell you that things that make me kind of angry are like when someone breaks the tripod, or maybe when they put my name in a dedication, something like fourth or even last. So I ask you once again, Cressley, what really makes you mad? Uh, not much, uh, uh, other than being tied down. Ah, oh, ah, oh, well, we all have things to get over, don't we? In Dark Needs at Night's Edge, your heroine, Naomi Loresque, was a famous ballerina. That is before she was knifed in the heart and imbued with otherworldly powers. Gina and I had this great idea. I think you're really gonna like it. Okay, she's going to do the birth and progression of your career through interpretive dance. No, no, no need to thank us. Yeah, it's going to be great. Shall we watch it? This represents right here the birth of your paranormal career. There's a hunger like no other. Now we're on to No Rest for the Wicked. This is where Sebastian and Katerin meet. Oh, and the high. The high? Yeah, the high. Huh, you know, I was kind of pronouncing that differently in my head. Okay, let's watch. <laughs>
getting out of here. Your voice is annoying and I have a headache. You'll be here from my lawyer, Joe Monroe! They all say that. <gasps> thank you for being my guest today, Cressley. And thank you for joining us here on Author Talk, where authors talk to other authors. I'm Jill Monroe. And I'm Gina Showalter. Don't be afraid. Oh my god, my leg. My leg. Cramp.